Here a second airlift wing. We've all been affected by the COVID-19 and we all have fears and concerns on how this is going to affect our lives going forward. So today we want to talk a little bit about how you can help yourself uh, with getting through this crisis. I also want to talk about why we're continuing our mission. So we need to keep our airmen safe, that is the most important item, but we need to continue to maintain readiness in case we are called for a real world mission. And that is my intent. We need to take care of each other, right? I talk about it all the time. The wingman concept. Reach out to your fellow airmen and make sure that everybody's doing okay. But even more importantly, we need to take care of ourselves during this time. We need to follow the guidance that's coming out day to day to, with yourself and your families. I also have Colonel Berenger with us here today and he is going to talk about some of the medical issues that can help you get through the COVID-19. Airmen of the 302nd, it's really an honor to serve with you guys and um, as we work through this issue, recognize that the key thing that Colonel DeVere said was how do we keep you safe and secondarily how do we continue this mission. Medically and immunologically there are things that you can do that will take you down that road. Now the first thing you do in any foreign invader, whether it's a bacteria or a virus, is try to keep it from ever entering your body. And that's how uh, we institute things like hand washing or, you know, just the sort of things that keep any organism from entering your body. But once it's inside your body, then you have some challenges. And the, that immune system part of you is called the innate immune system. It's your natural immunity. But there are things that you can do to upregulate your natural immunity so that when you see if it's flu, if it's COVID-19, whatever it is, Whatever, whenever you see that, that your body's better prepared to manage it, to give yourself a more resilient opportunity to see it and respond to it. So what are the things that you can do? And primarily, the most important thing that you can do is re, uh, revolves around your diet. You know, what are you eating to improve your immune system? Turns out that green vegetables, fresh fruit are really good at upregulating your immune system. The third thing, and this is things that we preach here all the time, we talk about it all the time, is exercise. So what is your day-to-day -day exercise program? What is your day-to-day -day diet program? What, is, what are the things that you do every day that allow you to have a better immune system? Because there are things that you do that will down-regulate your immune system, and you need to really think about them and begin to remove them from your daily schedule. One of the most potent ways to down-regulate your immune system is fear or long-term stress. Very strong immunosuppressant. So think about those things and find ways to get stress relief and to work through this fear because as leaders in this organization, we understand all of this and we know how to work with you. This is our mission to work with you and to, to downregulate that stress. Lastly, there are things that you can do, especially around respiratory disease, that put you at higher risk. Smoking is one of those issues that's turning out with COVID-19 to be a very high risk activity. So think about those things that you are doing that will upregulate your immune system, improve your diet, improve your exercise, um, cut your stress down, cut your smoking out. If that's possible, we will likely see this, vac this virus sometime in our lives. And with uh, a very resilient immune system, we can fight it off and drive on. So thank you for the opportunity to address the wing, Colonel DeVere. So to lower your stress, not an easy thing to do all the time. If you need help, we have plenty of helping agencies out there that we talk about all the time. You know, we have our chaplain, we have Alma Moore, and we have Airmen and Family Readiness, just to name a few. So please don't hesitate to reach out to your supervision, leadership, or our helping agencies. And we're going to get through this situation together.